Howdy everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool product ad in Photoshop, like the one you see right here. All right, let's jump right in. So we'll start out with a blank document. My document is 1200 by 628 pixels. I think that's the size for a Facebook ad, but I'm not 100% sure. The size doesn't really matter, it just depends on what you're doing this for. So we're going to create a gradient in our document, and the way we'll do that is we'll come up to our gradient tool, which is right there, and then we are going to select a color. We're going to select a very, very light gray, and then we're also going to use this gray that's just a little tiny bit darker. So hit OK. And then we're going to use our gradient tool now, and we'll click and drag them down. Um, those are in the wrong direction. We want it going from light to dark, so we need to switch our background and foreground colors. So we'll click and drag and hold down shift to keep a straight line. And we'll let go, and now we have our gradient. It's really hard to see, but it's there. Next, we're going to grab our product images. Now, depending on what your product is, you're going to, well, all products actually, they're all going to need to be cut out and be made into PNGs. So what that means, whoops. So what that means is there can't be a background on it. It just needs to be the object. So we're going to go ahead and let's start with our blue one. We're going to go ahead and copy and paste our image into our document. And then we'll resize using the transform tool, which is command T on a Mac and on a Windows, it's control T. So hit enter. Now let's do the same for our red phone case. Copy and paste. We want this guy to be the same size as our other phone case, so we'll get them aligned. And then using the transform tool, we're going to resize it and it should snap into place. We'll drag this guy over. Looks good. Now let's, I'm going to grab this blue guy and I'm going to nudge him over just a bit. All right, now we're going to create a text layer. So we'll hit T on our keyboard and that will bring up the text tool. And then we just want to click. And we want the size to be probably about 48 and we want the color to be a very, very dark gray. That will make it so that it's not too hard on the eyes. So we're gonna type our text. So I think for this ad, it's going to say, love your pooch. And then we'll hit enter. Whoops. Question mark. All right. So we have our text. Now let's go ahead and format it. So if we select it and we come up to our character tool, we can do some things. One thing that we can do is we can change the space between our letters. So if we come up here to this VA, that will change the spacing between our characters. So I think about there is good. Whoops. All right, right about there. Now we're going to increase the size on these two words because we want all of our words to align with each other. So we'll come up here to our text size and we're going to increase the size until it looks about like they're aligned. Awesome. Now we need to increase the size of the word love so that that also is aligned with the rest of our letters or words. Sweet. Now what we need to do is we need to change the spacing between our words because as you can see right there, it, the spacing between the two words are kind of different. So we're going to select the word pooch and we're going to come over to our I don't know what this tool is called, but it's the one with the two A's, one above the other. And we're going to click and drag, and we're going to pull that up to about there. Awesome, looks good. All right, now we're done with our text. Let's go ahead and center that. Next, we are going to use the elliptical marquee tool, and we're going to create a new layer underneath our phone cases. 
and we're going to create an elliptical that's just about the width of our phone case and we'll fill that in with black make sure that you're on the paint bucket and we'll come down to black and we're going to go ahead and fill that in and then coming up to filters and blur and then we'll come to box blur we're going to blur that and let's put it at about eight now let's nudge that guy up a bit and then we're going to copy that shadow and paste it and drag that one underneath the other phone case all right Next, we want to merge those two layers together. So we will select both of them and we'll right click and go to merge layers. So now those are one layer. Let's now bring down the opacity on those to about there. Now the last step in this is to create the reflection of our phone cases. So what we're gonna do is we're going to merge these two phone case layers. So those are one layer now and we're going to copy whoops let's go to our rectangular marquee tool we're going to copy those two phone cases and paste them let's get them realigned and then we're going to go to the transform tool which is Control t on a windows and command t on a mac and then we're going to flip them vertically and we'll hit enter and we're going to drag those down and let's make sure that they're aligned and we're gonna grab that layer and bring it beneath our other phone case layer let's nudge those guys just up a little bit and then we are going to bring down the opacity to about 50 percent then we're going to use our erase tool and Let's make sure we're on a soft edged brush and my size is about 80 pixels. And then we're going to just going to erase across here like so. And I'm holding down shift while I do this. So I get a nice straight line and my opacity is also is at two. And the way you achieve your opacity is you can just hit the number two on your keyboard and that will give you an opacity of 20%. We just want to erase away the bottom of those phone case reflections. All right, awesome. You just created a product ad in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll be bringing you many more videos like this one. Thanks.